Blessings and welcome back. It is Priestess Melissa. Happy Monday to you. We are here at the start of a new week and guess what? It is time to start voting guys for the Muscle and Fitness Hers Miss Health and Fitness Challenge. All right. I have been lucky enough to be chosen as one of the candidates to compete in this competition and I am super excited about it. So look for the photos and the videos that are going to be coming and don't forget to vote. You can vote one time every single day. So I appreciate your support in advance. Thank you so much. Monday blessings to you. Let's get into our message, shall we? Great spirit, thank you. I honor you. Bring forth the messages that are most needed today, setting my ego to the outside, honoring the ancestors, way shores, and guides, and the wisdom that they bring forth today for the highest good. So it is, so it is, so it is. Help us to receive what is needed today. Beautiful. All right, guys, so let's get into our messages. Crystal Magic Monday. So we look at the Crystal Mandala cards to see what is going on as far as an angel, a Ascended Master, or uh, a goddess that may want to work with us, and what crystal is gonna be best to work with for this week. Uh, if you work with crystals at all, you know that they have different attributes for each one that are really great for helping you to get more centered, to feel more empowered or whatever the case may be. So look into crystals, you know, I've said this before, but when you go into a crystal shop, just kind of look around and see what you feel drawn to. And like I said too, many times they'll have like a little description of what those crystals are, you know, and what they can help you with. And you can just carry them around with you, keep them on your altar, put them under your pillow. There's so many different things you can do. All right, guys, so what is coming through for our crystal magic mandala cards today? Ooh, beautiful. We got two out here. Goddess Maya, Ruby Aura Court, Searing Presence, beautiful. And Archangel Michael and Lapis Lazuli with the vision, beautiful. So we've got our eye on something right now. We're in the present moment with the Searing Presence. So we are very aware of what is going on in our lives, in our situation. We know which direction we wanna to go today. Grace for the grand gesture and the untamed with Goddess Freya. Wow, some very powerful cards out here today. This is really about stepping into our power and being who we truly are. Now I know I'm in a competition, you know, and things of that nature, but truly, you know, anytime that we're working towards something uh, big in our lives, whether we're making a big change in um, who we are as a person, you know, those character traits, we're literally like becoming a different character, becoming a new person, if you will. And it is like you can become a character. And at first it is a lot like acting, you know, what I mean but as you practice with it and as you get into the flow of it then you start to see what you can really do with all of it right so first off again we have goddess Maya and Ruby are a quartz when I think of Ruby you know rubies are definitely one of those gemstones like sapphires and diamonds they're definitely revered as a more um, uh, a more um, sophisticated, I guess you could say, type of energy. It's like kings and queens and, you know, it belongs to royalty, if you will. Searing presence. So this is making your presence known in that way that is of a higher nature where people are seeing you from this higher stature, you know? Not only are they seeing you, but you are getting the vision with the lapis lazuli today of where you need to go. What is gonna be the best way to go in your life that's gonna set up this, you know, protection, if you will. I think of this when I'm looking at this, almost like you've got the moat, you know, and surrounding the castle, if you will, and you've got the armor all around it, right? Protecting what's in the middle we always want to be protecting and also seeking that guidance from spirit with that cross at the top right bringing in you know that protection from the most high and whatever we're doing today because as we start our day no matter what we do when we call in spirit when we ask you know spirit 
uh, you know, God or whatever you want to call it, that higher presence, you know, to help you to be more present in your life so you can be seen in these more powerful ways. Grace for the grand gesture, Archangel Raphael and Malachi with 15, or 15, yes, that comes to a six. This is all about balance in the heart chakra space, especially because when we have that vision, when we know where we want to go, when we're in that present moment and we're coming from that higher nature, it's going to drive us forward. It's going to naturally allow us to shine forth and for that healing to take place that naturally takes place when we are in that balanced state. So again, grace for the grand gesture. Wow. And then what is this with the untamed? Goddess Freya and Amber with 48. Amber is a very calming energy. Now, if you're getting ready to step into something big, you know, it's like going out on stage, right? Um, I get stage fright, you know, I even sometimes get nervous talking on camera, 555 five, five, when I said that, but there's some change. We need to unleash, you know, this aspect of ourselves where we maybe we've seen ourselves doing these big things, you know, with that vision, but now we're allowing ourselves to really open up, to really step into that, you know, character or that role, if you will, gracefully. All right, beautiful. I wanna see what's coming through with our last card that came out with Goddess Freya and Amber, the untamed with 48 coming to a 12. That's three. That is all about that Trinity balance, you know, with spirit, once again, being able to come into that flow and understanding of who we are. Let's take a look at that card today in our book and just get an idea of, now this is gonna give us an affirmation. If you have amber, wear it. Make sure that you either wear it around you, carry it on you. This is going to help you to tap into that calm energy, but also that energy you know, of the uh, solar plexus and sacral chakra areas that is going to help you to feel empowered, if you will, by being able to release, you know, uh, perhaps these thoughts about limiting thoughts about who you think you can be or what you think you can accomplish, right? You are never limited. I'm 47 years old and I just got accepted to compete in this competition. I mean, how wonderful is that? Guys, I am a, a veteran and I am also a mom, a first responder. I work in surgery currently, but I also am offering the Four Thieves Vinegar and a natural health book that is truly going to revolutionize the way that we think about natural health and how powerful it is on the body. This is gonna tap into the cellular aspect of the understanding of these things. You definitely don't wanna miss that. That's why I'm in this competition, guys. And if I win, this money would greatly help me towards being able to get my book out there and all the other things that I wanna do. So thank you so much for all of your support. All right, so again, tapping into 48 goddess Freya this here would definitely help me to feel more untamed for sure let's read the message around this card today it says we bring you the empowerment of the untamed to be untamed is to be true to oneself without condition it is freedom but it is not always easy there are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond question to mainstream human society, which would mark an untamed spirit as a dangerous and suspicious creature, even though that untamed spirit serves unconditional love. Yet, to be untamed is the only way to discover who you are and live your divine destiny. Behind the clothing, the social masks, and the stories you tell yourself, or that others tell you, there is a beautiful, wild, divine creature that wants out. Uncage that divinity and watch your wild beauty emerge as you and your world transform through raw grace. Beauty, uh, beautiful, I mean, truly. And this card, grace for the grand gesture coming out before it. This is amazing to see, you know, this is truly you tapping into uncharted territory, but it is truly going to allow you chills right now to truly feel so free, you know, to feel like you can truly be yourself, you know? So here is your affirmation with Amber to carry for this week. It says, I am wild divinity, untamed, 
simply that, guys. Again, I am wild divinity untamed. And again, I am wild divinity untamed. Beautiful. So as you tap into that divine nature again with that three energy, you're going to tap into that raw, you know, just like with the, uh, uh, with the amber here, it's raw, right? It's fossilized. It's that uh, crystallized, you know, part of, you know, that's caught. It's almost like that um, energy that is caught, you know, and trapped. And it's like it's stored. It's never lost, if you will. This is what you're able to tap into. That power that's always there that you can tap into, all right? Beautiful to see. All right, we're going to get our crystal visions cards out today and see what is going on for our collective here, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Get shuffled up just a little bit here real quick. Tapping three times on the cards can help break up and release any dense energy, especially from past readings. So that's why you'll see readers do that from time to time. All right, let's see what's going on for us today, shall we? Beautiful message so far. How is your weekend, guys? I have been super busy. Goodness, I tell you what, but we're gonna make it. Now guys, if you need a reading or any other spiritual needs, don't, do not forget to check out fireflymetaphysical.com where Priest Jersey Moon and I are co-creators at Firefly Metaphysical. We offer so much that can help you today to move through these spaces, whether it be readings or any other metaphysical needs. All right, and so today for Aries, what is coming through, where do we need to be more untamed? Ooh, healing. Because you have definitely come through something very powerful, my friend. It's time to take a new journey is what spirit is saying. Don't be afraid to step out and step off of that precipice. Spirit has your back for sure. With the star in the upright and the full on the bottom in the upright, beautiful. That is the right direction to go. Trust spirit to guide your steps as you go. And for Taurus, how could we be more untamed today? Woo. Well, we got a couple of cards out. Let me do that again because I just want to make sure because that was a little interesting, but we got about three cards out on that. Taurus, come through for me and show me what you'd like me to know. Thank you. All right. So four of pentacles still wanted to be here or sorry, four of wands. So this is talking about making a decision. Maybe we're not sure what decision to make about perhaps a commitment or something in regards to a relationship and surrounding either, you know, our heart or our home space. But this is a greater vision that we have had for ourselves, you know, to have perhaps this home life where it is balanced and things of that nature. But maybe that's not the way it has been or you've been confused about it. And it's time today to really come to a place where you understand, you know, and, and move towards that you know, what makes you feel good? What feels like home? If you don't feel good where you're at, then this is about asking you to tap into really what does help you to feel free that doesn't keep you trapped up in your head because this is never where we wanna be. We can never unleash and be feel confident and be who we really are if we are confused, if you will. All right, so what's going on for Gemini today with the untamed energy? Nine of Pentacles walking away. Oh, wow, don't walk away from, you know, all that could truly be yours. There is so much that is available to you or waiting for you. You know, this energy of feeling good, feeling um, independent and, you know, confident and having everything that you need, feeling in your power, don't walk away from that energy for sure. And don't feel like that your value is in someone else because what I saw under that was nine of cups. So we may feel like that we have lost, you know, everything that is important in our lives or valuable just because we have lost someone that meant a lot to us, but that's never true. 14, 14, when I said that, maybe you do need to make a change and maybe this is affecting your money. All right, Cancer, we have the Ace of Wands coming out with the King of Wands in reverse. Wow. 
be aware of how you're using your energy today if you are a male be sure that you're not uh, sleeping around too much is what I'm gonna say usually a lot of people say that the ace of wands is you know uh, the male phallic card so it is like you know a penis <laughs> a wand and then when you have the king of wands in reverse that usually indicates that somebody is definitely uh, maybe putting that in places they shouldn't be or too many places be aware that this can affect your power for sure. You know, definitely with this King of Wands in reverse, you definitely don't want your energy to be affected, potentially because of who you may be connecting with intimately. All right, so what's going on now for Leo today with the untamed? Yeah, that's a little untamed in the wrong way, right? Untamed for Leo, what do we need to know with Goddess Freya and Amber? How can we bring that calmness to our lives, right? And still feel that freedom of that, you know, wildness of being free, but in the divine way, in the way that is most balanced. All right, well, a couple came out today here, three actually. So we've got the moon, hanged man, and queen of wands, all right? So we're definitely figuring things out here. Could have been deception from other areas, you know, other people, people that were around us, but it could have just been because we weren't feeding the good wolf, right? But we saw what we needed to see is what this sounds like with the hang of the hanged man, sorry, in the middle. Queen of Wands, this is definitely going to allow you to step into your true power today. Yes, move forward with that divine motion and energy. Use it to move forward in the most powerful way so you can truly be happy today. Beautiful. And what's coming forward for Virgo today? Virgo, how can we tap into that untamed energy for you? Virgo energy today, please. All right, Magician in Reverse walking away from using those tools unwisely perhaps we need to focus on where we are putting our energy look at all areas of our lives is what this is saying to me with the magician in reverse because magician talks about you know all of the areas of our lives it talks about our mental emotional physical energy, you know, and how we're connecting with spirit. And we want to look at how we're feeling in all aspects of our being today, in our body. How does it feel, you know, in, you know, places where we're at, uh, around certain people. This is saying to walk away from any energy that causes you to feel this way, right? Quickly as well, because the chariot was underneath that. So spirit is definitely saying, get out of Dodge quickly if you are in this energy, because you definitely are not going to move forward in positive ways that way. All right, Libra, what's coming forward for the Untamed today? And we have Page of Cups in Reverse, Ten of Cups in Reverse. Well, this could indicate moving out of that type of energy where maybe you, you, you're not feeling good about new starts in your life. Maybe not sure that they're going to end up being, you know, everything that you truly want. The truth is coming forward today to show you that as you stay in your place, because maybe, you know, you haven't been seeing uh, that abundance because Page of Cups in the upright, you know, in the original Rider weight deck would show that fish in the cup, right? And I I always think of that as the fishes and loaves like you know when when Christ um, trusted and said you know uh, that that there it would be multiplied right the fishes and loaves it was done so so it's like being able to stay balanced uh, I feel in spite of those challenges that we may see outwardly where things aren't necessarily coming to fruition just yet and working out completely in our favor saying just trust it is true that everything is coming together, but you've just got to continue to hold the faith. Okay, beautiful to see. And what's coming up for Scorpio today? Scorpio energy, please. Scorpio. All right, we have the King of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Looks like we're looking into the situation today, using our intuition wisely, trusting in the direction that we need to go. As a result, with the King of Pentacles here, that means that you are going in the right direction. Queen of Swords, cutting out anything that you need to. The High Priestess, 
Queen of Swords, Swords energy in general, that means that we're definitely dealing with anything in our mental space and allowing ourselves to really tap in to those intuitive faculties that will serve us the best. All right. And for Sagittarius, we have Eight of Pentacles. So definitely waking up coming out of that mental prison, seeing where we need to put the work in. This is beautiful to see. We definitely don't want to be trapped in our heads and, you know, confused about where we truly have the ability to have that abundance in our lives. Nine of Swords is really also about that, you know, things that keep you up at night and cause you to have all kinds of worries and anxieties and concerns. We're putting an end to this. We're working hard to do so. And that is so beautiful to see. This is absolutely going to help you not only to tap into that balance, but with the Pentacles energy, likely to bring in some nice rewards of abundance in the monetary sense as well, or at least blessings of things working out well, like saving money, you know, on something. Um, any In any case, always make sure that you get thanks for those little things for sure. All right, now what are we doing here? Capricorn, it looks like we are putting an end to conflicts. We're focusing on what is truly going to bring us happiness and doing so from that fairy tale perspective. Knight of Cups, I see that as being, you know, trusting in the magic of spirit, if you will, putting an end to those power struggles within ourselves as well as with others, understanding that if we are balanced, especially within our own energy, that we will be able to bring that fairy tale to life. That is so beautiful to see. All right, what's up with Aquarius today? Tapping into the untamed spirit of Goddess Freya and Amber. All right, we got two cards out today. Balance out, yes, the burden of not seeing your ships coming in, seeing that money coming in perhaps maybe you've been waiting on some money even but there's a mask on her if you notice so what is it that we need to take the mask off about what is it that we need to understand well first of all stop carrying around these burdens is what spirit is asking us to do this is bringing our energy down to the degree that with the three of wands also, because this is all your, your your life force energy, you know, the motivation and the energy that you feel that you have to move forward and make things happen in your life, right? So when we have the 10 of wands in reverse, this is means that we are dealing with burdens because usually it means putting them behind you. But then we've got the three of wands in reverse. This is causing us to continue to have that <clears throat> you know, where our ships are not coming in, where we're not seeing those positive things happening in our lives. And truly it is about dealing with our own energy, right? And whatever area that we need to, sometimes it's all areas. In this case, it's just about focusing on self-regulation of your energy help yourself to be distracted and to feel better in the moment whenever these things come up whenever these challenges come up where you have to deal with um, perhaps thinking about these past situations and burdens right 2244 all right what's coming forward now for our pisces energy today all right pisces nine of swords in reverse beautiful to see because again we're coming out of that beautiful person right <laughs> Ten of Swords in Reverse is also beautiful to see because all of these Swords in Reverse means that we are getting a handle on what, how we're thinking, how we're viewing situations in our lives. We're no longer having those sleepless nights and also no longer allowing those people in who would cause us to, you know, hat or at least this is what Spirit is asking you to do. Be aware of those people that are around you. If they're not of the more honorable type, the Hierophant with priest in reverse, meaning that this is all about commitment. This is all about higher level of commitment and being honorable and committed to yourself and moving forward in those honorable ways. With the five and the Hierophant, time for change for sure. So what is the change that you need to make in your life to be able to tap into this untamed energy of goddess freya and amber well 
We've looked at it a little bit today and now you can make that powerful decision for yourself as you move forward. Thank you once again, guys, for all of your support for this competition. And I look forward to doing a reading for you tomorrow to tap into the animal spirits and see what is coming through for our messages for tomorrow. See ya and have a wonderful day. Until then, blessings. Bye-bye.